Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As you may notice, I have a brand new Simpsons t-shirt with Homer Simpson holding a mug of beer. <laughs> yeah, that's his favorite drink. Uh, Duff beer. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy the Simpsons stuff. But I love the classic ones, though. Along with the movie. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway... It's been a while since I've done a movie review. The last one was Can't Hardly Wait, which was uh, last week uh, in June, uh, mostly because it was graduation month and everything. And I was still continuing with some more commercial breaks that I found online, you know, just to make the channel even better. Of course, uh, I had to celebrate my brother's birthday. We had a great time. I went to this uh, Chinese restaurant at Monterey Park and it was on a Friday too <laughs> I mean I had some you know broccoli beef with all these other varieties uh, that they choose you know, with steamed rice, fried rice um, green beans uh, chow mein and all the other rest I mean it was delicious <laughs> and we also had the 4th of July uh, yeah, I just saw the fireworks as I posted already on YouTube. I even posted on Facebook uh, live. Yeah, it, it, you can actually see the, the fireworks uh, coming directly through my place. Well, my apartment. But the neighbors had gathered around and they were watching it. Yeah, they were even bringing their phones to actually capture it perfectly. And my sister was doing the same too. My mother and all. <laughs> yeah, it, it was fun. So now I'm going to do a movie review this week. And we saw this um, a few weeks back uh, at a second run theater, which is the Regency Academy 6 Cinemas in Pasadena, California. I've been there uh, several times. Uh, it's a great theater, even though it is very old. <laughs> But it's nice to know that they reopened the theater, so now they can play second-run films. Even the ones that were available on streaming. Like this movie I'm going to review today called Raya and the Last Dragon. A story about a warrior princess who seeks out this one last dragon, hoping to restore the dragon's gem that once again had banished the plague of Druun and reunites the tribe together, including all the families around, as Kamandra. Now this movie uh, simultaneously was available at Disney Plus, uh, part of the premium access that they use. Uh, it came out on March 5th of 2021, but they had played this at uh, several theaters uh, that are in standard 2D along with 3D, Dolby Cinema, and IMAX formats around. Fortunately, not at the uh, Cinemark theaters for stupid reasons. I think it had to do with Disney. But hopefully Cinemark will never do that crap again. Because this is another reason why for a while it wasn't doing quite well during the the first quarter of March. But the movie was getting better and better as it went along with it because of Disney Plus and, and other feeders, you know, trying to keep up with the box office results. So yeah, it, it did pretty well so far. And I'm glad it did. I mean, even though for its 100 million budget, as it seems, because this is a CGI animated feature, it was just really tough having to keep up with it. Um, and already it's becoming the, the most second view streaming title ever on Disney Plus now that it's no longer on premium access. It is also available on 4K Ultra HD along with Blu-ray and DVD and digital. So now hopefully I'll pick this up later so I can watch it anytime. I can also watch it on Disney Plus too since I do have it. So I'm happy for that. But I wanted to see it in theaters exactly the way it should be. So I could continue to have the cinematic experience in this day of age. But let's begin with the review. 
stars Kelly Marie Tron, who you may remember her as Rose Tico in the last two Star Wars films, which got criticized a lot. I, I know not many people like this character. Um, I'm not very fond of her either. But she's a great actress, and definitely she'll get better as years follow. So that's why people should give her a chance. Because I'm glad that she went on to do the movie The Cruise, A New Age. That was the latest sequel from DreamWorks. I just recently picked this up on Blu-ray. I've seen it before, and I'll see it again <laughs> when I get a chance. Aquafini, Isaac Wan, Gemma Chan, Jonah Aiko, Daniel Day Kim, Benedict Wan, Sandra Oh from the HBO series Arius with Robert Rule, along with Grey's Anatomy, which had Patrick Dempsey as McDreamy, among other actors. Daya Tran, Lucille Song, and Alan Tyke, who has done many works too. Um, of course, he's done voice acting for films like Frozen and Big Hero 6, both of which are from Disney. Yeah. Written by Hui Nagayan and Adele Lim, by joining in as part of the story with several writers such as. Paul Briggs, Don Hole, uh, Carlos Lopez Estrada, uh, Keo Murray, John Ripa, and Dean Wellens, and it's directed by Don Hole and Carlos Lopez Estrada. The movie began set in a prosperous land called Camandra that's being ravished by evil spirits known as Drone that petrifies people and dragons alike turning them into stone. Zazu, who was the last dragon, had concentrated her magic into a gem by banishing the drone and reviving Kamandra's people, except for dragons themselves. So the power struggles for the gem divides um, Kamandra's people into tribes based on the placement along the giant dragon-shaped river known as Fang, Hearts, Spine, Talon, and Tail. 500 years later, Chief Banja of the Heart Tribe trains his daughter, Raya, to protect the gym. Firmly believed that the tribes can be united once again, Benja decided to hold a feast for the leadership of the all five tribes, even the ones that they couldn't trust. So, which that leads to the feast that Raya eventually be friends with Namara, the daughter of the chief Barana of the Fang tribe, who gives Raya the dragon's presence as a gift. Trusting her, Raya shows Namara the location of the gem, but then she betrays Raya as part of the plot for Fang to steal it. And alerted to the attack, Banja and the other tribes arrive at the scene and start fighting over the gem, which gets broken into the scuffle, and each of the tribes steal the piece of the gem, and the drone reawakens and overtakes Heart and the rest of its people to become stone. And they spread around the entire rest of the of the land of Kamandra. Benja saves Raya by throwing her off of the bridge into the water below and she watches him getting swallowed and petrified by the drone. But for the next six years, Raya had trekked across uh, Kamandra to find Zazu to recreate another gem in order to re restate it and restore everyone in its path. So they only uh, spread half of the people who already discovered that their family has been turned into stone too. Uh, anyway and we're going to get to that, that Raya managed to summon Zasu after reaching a shipwreck in Tao. She admits that she did not create the gem, but read it on the behalf of her four siblings, each piece containing each enchanter's power around. As they continue their journey, um, reclaiming all the pieces together, they had to meet new friends along the way, which is Born, Tong, 
and little Nori, <laughs> yeah, which I know this little boy just loves to cook and, and all. So they were riding around on the ship. Uh, Zazu was being disguised as a human on Raya's insistence until she reveals herself to save Raya from Namari at Spine. Yeah, which it was already set up a trap, sort of in the, <laughs> sort of in the traditional uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark type of idea. Or Indiana Jones. Um, all the way at Fane. Zazu convinced Raya to ally with Namari rather than stealing the final piece. So Raya returns the dragon's pendant as she received from Namari years ago as a gesture of trust, if this was the case. But with Namari, though, already being torn by her responsibility to save Fang's reputation and her wish to help defeat the Drawn, this is what led to this uh, very tragic scene where where she's about to threaten them with a crossbow. But Zazu was attempt to calm her down. Which I know this is gonna be the biggest one. Which she got herself fatally shot when Raya lashes her sword away from Namari's crossbow. Well, they may thought that Zazi well they may thought that Zaizu had died, but actually she came fully restored later on when both Raya and the rest of them had gone together, had teamed up together to, to defeat the drone just as they turned into stone and now they begin to restore the entire land as well as the dragons. So yes, Zaizu is already alive along with the rest of them. So everything went back to normal the way it should be. So. <laughs> Definitely an excellent film for this year alone. Um, it's breathtaking. A lot of great adventure around. It's been a while since I've seen movies like this. But I'm glad that I have. Especially at a local neighborhood theater. Um, so beautiful animation. Very colorful. Unique. A lot of great landscapes around. Um, terrific voice acting of any actress and actor around that you're familiar with or even some new ones to join. Uh, a lot of funny moments. I love the scene though in the movie where Ryder was going to come up with a new plan but unfortunately the little boy wanted to have his own plan was to, to stop all these guards, you know, making all these... Uh, martial arts and all <laughs> so that way you know they'd be able to get the gym but then Zazu wanted to have her plan so just to make it up for Kamari but I guess Raya wanted to go for his plan instead <laughs> but that was pretty fun and some touching gentle moments other types has a wonderful score by James Newton Howard. Um, some great cinematography for the laid out and the lightning scenes. Some perfect editing. All of that. Um, and I can see a lot of similarities to other stories, you know, especially for the Asian market too, as it's set to. Um, and this is, this was the perfect film to watch. I mean, it must have took a lot of hard work for all animators to get her. I mean, even though, you know, during this pandemic that was going around, I mean, they knew they had to work this hard. But it's just... And I know... And it has a powerful message too. It really does. That's exactly what I expect from a Disney film that we really need nowadays. And they really uh, put it all. And so I'm going to keep it in that level. And and I would say check this movie out. You know, watch it on Disney Plus. 
you know, watch it, uh, or basically just buy the film on 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, digital, whatever. You know, so you can watch it anytime, and you would just enjoy it. Yeah. I appreciate this. So that's where I end The Last Dragon, and I give the movie five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.